Hey, what is going on guys? It is Alyssa and this is my channel now. I am taking it from Noah. Um, I am going to be reviewing all of Noah's favorite albums from the first quarter of the year. That is January through March. Um, he hasn't really listened to anything in April and neither have I because I don't listen to that much music and I haven't even heard most of these albums. So let's get to it. I actually have heard stuff from <laughs> April, just not much that has come out that I care about. Hey, what is going on guys? It's Noah. Uh, <laughs> um, uh, I guess we're gonna do the last episode of Take a Walk. People have convinced me. They got on to me because I never did it, because I lost motivation, not because I don't. I mean, I am obviously taking a break from YouTube, as everyone can probably tell by the lack of content besides the live stream in the past month. <laughs> but, but uh, I don't know, everything going on, I just kinda, I, even though I obviously have more time, uh, I just don't. It's always been something that I've been like starting to feel like I wanted to move away from. And with everything that was going on, I just kind of got down and didn't feel like uh, recording anything. But uh, I've been nagged by many to do a video. Um, so I'm going to at least finish season two. Uh, and who knows, I'll probably come back or post something or at least just continue doing live streams. I'm sure I'll do something. But at the moment, I'm not. Um, so uh, we decided to go for a walk. Um, uh, and so I wanted to, yeah, just conclude the series. I feel like I was going to say something else, but I totally lost my train of thought. So I um, guess I won't. Uh, <laughs> um, but the main thing I wanted to do here, because I was already wanting to do this, was talk about my favorite releases, uh, albums and EPs. I don't want to do singles. That's too much work. <laughs> um, that would take more of an actual video than like a take a walk. That uh, my favorite albums and EPs uh, from the first quarter of the year. So I'm pretty much just going to be talking about January through March, though I'll just spoil it. At least at this moment, I haven't found any April or like from the first release day of April. I haven't found anything that I enjoy. Um, Sorry, there was a man on the phone. <sighs> All right, uh, sorry for the uh, dog and now also the man and the boy who were mowing. I felt kind of awkward walking past them, vlogging. Um, we're different on campus. It's too intimate when it's a, like one person vlogging <laughs> as they pass somebody. Very weird. Um, uh, so, uh, I don't think... So, um, I'm going to go over my favorite albums and EPs from January through March. Um, like I've said before, I've been trying to focus on genres I already know I like. Not because I don't think it's good to expand your horizons, but uh, the last two years I attempted to listen to more stuff that I was not into. Because, like country, there's good country. I've heard lots of good country. It's not my genre though, so I more want other people to recommend me country, other people to recommend me hip hop instead of me trying to go through it because I'm much more picky on those genres. So I personally have been trying to listen to stuff that I just know I like. It's been going really good. I found a ton of stuff that I really enjoy. Um, for starters, um, Colony House's third album. Um, it's very like alternative pop, like most of the stuff that you guys know I like. Um, a lot of synthesizers. Um, that album, they're a band that's kind of done a lot of different things. Um, their first album was very indie, indie pop. Um, second album was a little more like blues rocky. It wasn't blues. Yeah, let, we can go this way. Um, uh, it, it wasn't really blues, but it had more of the like traditional like rock sounds. And then uh, this third album is much more, I don't know, pop. I guess would be the best thing that I could say. Um, but it's still really good. I really enjoy it. And even though it's probably not my favorite album of theirs, it's got some really great sounds that I just really enjoy. Really big moments. Like there's one song, um, Looking for Some Light, where there it's just a huge, like it's just so like such a large production. The, the piano, um, drums, and some orchestral moments in it. It's just so huge really good stuff. I really like it. It's it's hit and miss. Um, these are just like the things that have stood out to me, not necessarily like an organized top 10 or anything. Um, yeah. Second is John Moreland's uh, third album? Fourth album? Fifth album? I have no idea. I can think of two, but I'm not a huge fan. I do really like what I've heard. I just have never explored him further. Um, he's a folk artist from Oklahoma. Um, so... 
that's how I know about him. Really good. Um, actually, one of my teachers used to be his drummer in an old band of his. So um, that's you know about this. We've talked about this many times. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, it's just good folk. Uh, this album specifically, he tried to do a lot of like drum machines for the drums, which I really like. Um, not because I'm typically attracted to drum machines, but just because I really like the new, the new approach. This this folk acoustic sound with drum machines, really cool. Um, another thing that I've been getting into, uh, Frat Mouse. Frat Mouse is a like a garage punk kind of band. Um, you all right? <laughs> um, a garage punk kind of band. Um, they. Uh, very, very like lo-fi kind of stuff, but uh, really good, really good band. I'm definitely keeping my eyes on them. Um, their debut EP or album, I guess, was very good. Um, uh, just that typical like snarky kind of punk, like punk. Uh, it's good. It's uh, like I said, I'm terrible at like terrible at naming genres, terrible at describing music, which is funny for a. Uh, <laughs> For a music critic, there's a reason why I stopped. I realize I'm not that good at it. Um, you should have gotten like a selfie sticker or something because half the time I'm you're going just showing me <laughs> and you're not in it like at all. <laughs> it's just like your mouth. <laughs> it's because my arms been getting tired because now because well, we already had to do a failed take, so I've already been holding my phone for you over ten minutes. It. No, I it's fine. It. I'm too sure. I will get it about over you. It's get fine. It. <laughs> it just got tired. Okay, uh, next worst party ever. Um, online or everywhere online. I don't know. That's something. Uh, that's something. That's the EP name, I think. You should have oh. written them down. Next to the <laughs> so good. Uh, it is such a good EP. Very like emo punk. Uh, again, terrible at describing music. Um, if anyone's decided to look up Cliff Diver anytime I've recommended them, which is multiple times, so why have you not done it? Um, they're very similar. Um, is Cliff Diver not on here? Cliff Diver, the, their EP came out in 2019. They only had oh. a song come out this year. Oh. Um, which, really good. Go check it out. The Water Temple is filled with my tears and sorrow or something. Is that the song uh, recommendation for this week? Uh, I, the song recommendation is all of the, these albums. Look them all up. Um, <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> um, not, not just a singular song no. out of the best albums. So the corner no. list. Um, what about you? Best song from this album? If, if, if the emo... Really, if you want to hear really good, like, emo, uh, emo punk music, uh, what about you will be my recommendation. I get, I'll go back. Uh, John Moreland, uh, In Times Between, good song. Looking for some light for Colony House. And, uh, I, although I am not a meme guy, so I feel very awkward saying this, Giga Chad Jawline is definitely my favorite song from, uh, Frat Mouse. Um, <laughs> I'm going to kind of give an honorable mention here. I I'm kind of going just chronologically as I found them, not even through the year, because some of these I discovered late. Um, but uh, uh, Steve, who I've talked about before, I know I have, um, formerly Republican Hair, uh, they had, like, I know there's at least one song on this playlist, maybe even two. Um, I really like Steve. I do not feel Big Dog. <laughs> <laughs> How people feel when they jump by my house. <laughs> we'll, uh, Not go down for some alley. reason, going down the alley was much different than walking in, in the front yard, like by everyone's front yards. I, for some reason, was intimidated by that large dog, um, even though I'm sure it would be in a fence. Um, that is not, a fence is not good enough to keep my dog out. True, <laughs> true. She just chews it off. Um, yeah. Uh, so the CVP is pretty good. It's got four songs and I'm, uh, lukewarm on two, I guess. Um, it's growing on me. I don't see this being a, like a year end kind of thing, but it is one that I want to talk about because I am Steve and Creep On Me is pretty good. Um, so it, there, those two are really good songs. It's just the rest are not as good. So I just... It, that, I don't know. Go for I Am Steve. There's my recommendation for that album. Okay, next, Jack Settle. Um, I know I've interviewed him. I've talked about him before. One of my good friends. Um, and he put out an EP. Super good. It's country. Um, Steve is like a new wave punk. 
there. Sorry, I'll give a give a very vague title. Um, shush. <laughs> um, Jack, country. Um, something that I've been talking that like uh, I, I kind of described him like uh, a new take on a classic classic country sound. Because I wouldn't say he's classic country, but. He is trying to avoid like pop country as much. He's doing his own thing and I really like it. Um, recommendation, The Rose is already on this playlist. So if you follow the playlist that I do, um, you already have heard that one. So I guess this one I'll do middle of somewhere. It's about the town I'm from, <laughs> um, the town we're currently in. Yeah. <laughs> um, uh, so yeah, it, it's a good song. I really recommend it. Um, uh, is it, he definitely the whole EP walks this line of like really comical country like how country has like a lot of roots and just like being very like I don't know self-deprecating uh, and funny so really good um, next uh, I have I'm gonna talk about Joy Waves um, album Possession their third album um, Joy Wave, I'm sure like if anyone knew that it came out, they know it's of course going to be on my uh, list. It's a great album. Uh, they are very like alternative rock. I don't know. I don't know how to describe like indie, alternative rock, pop, whatever. All of those, all of those names seem very uh, meaningless at times. Um, I'm only saying them so that people that are watching this can like go, no, I'm not into that genre and wait for my next and recommendation like five genres <laughs> <laughs> well but like if someone's like oh i'm not in the country i'm not gonna go check out jack's thing which i recommend anyway like it, it, one he's a small artist he deserves it but two um really good it, like i'm not a country fan but i liked it but and i'm not just saying that as a friend like i genuinely like it uh but if people don't like country i'd understand them skipping it or going yeah. i don't really like i don't know if, if you watch me if you watch me um, and you don't like indie, I don't like indie alternative stuff, then I don't know why you watch me because that's ninety percent of what I review. But regardless, um, uh, yeah, Joy Wave really good. Um, I'm gonna say Fear or half my age or half half your age um, uh, are my two recommendations for that album. Um, it's they are good songs. Um, it, they're I, I've seen a lot of people say they like this album uh, best. I think their first album is better, but this album's really good. There's just a couple songs that like, um, I, whatever, like funny things about opinions and uh, who owns who. Both of those songs, I'm like, uh, they're fine. They're, listen, think of the titles. They're as tongue in cheek as they sound, which the band is very used to doing that kind of thing. But that doesn't mean it always works. Just like any band that does a bunch of tongue-in-cheek stuff, it doesn't always work out. Um, next, Niall Horan's Heartbreak Weather. Uh, Niall is an incredibly talented, great pop artist. Um, and for that matter, I'm going to throw in the next one, Dua Lipa's Future Nostalgia. Well, you um, really talked about Niall for a while. Well, I'm going both. Okay. Because they're both good pop albums. Okay. Um, <laughs> they're both good pop albums. Um, <laughs> I feel like a lot of when people say that an album's like a good pop album, they it's like a disqualification of being an actual good album. I don't mean that. I just mean you don't go to the pop albums for the same thing. They're supposed to be fun, dancey. Um, let's turn around. I'm trying the goal. Well, how am I gonna do this? My goal is to not get the school in it. There we go. Oh. Um, uh, yeah. Uh, That's my own elementary school. Yeah, it's right right by your house. Um, but uh, yeah, both albums are so good. Uh, Future Nostalgia, ton of synth, dance, really good stuff. Like, if you liked her first album, um, this album's even better by a lot. Definitely recommend uh, Physical, duh. Um, I talk about it too much. Yes. Um, and Heartbreak Weather, um, pop. He still has some of the folk sounds that he was trying, or like, I don't know, folk pop sounds that he was going for on the first album, but definitely not as much. You guys talked about it sounding a lot like One Direction. Um, yeah. And it does at times, but I really like it. Niles definitely, I still think he has his own sound and I honestly really like this album. I don't even, I don't know if I like it better or not than Flickr, but it's really good regardless. Um, best song on that one, either Heartbreak Weather or Everywhere for me. Um, those are the two that I really like. Have anything to say about Heartbreak Weather? It's great. Niles is the best member of One Direction. You should. <laughs> 
go listen to Heartbreak Weather, even though I've only listened to it like twice. Niall, <laughs> Niall, Niall is definitely both of our favorites. Um, but uh, yeah, so those are my my albums and song recommendations and everything. Hope you guys like it. Sorry I took so long to post this video. I really do apologize, but I did it. And now I'm probably going to go radio silent for a while. Sorry. I'll come back whenever I feel more inspired, I'll say. You might do um, a random live stream here and there. Or post music. I've been posting music. Lots of people like that. I appreciate that. That meant so much to me. Um, maybe I'll post some covers or some originals. And now I'm getting close to a guy weed eating, so i got to hurry up. So thank you guys so much, and I'll see you guys later.